Hello students, welcome to physics class form 1, the chapter work, power and energy. The topics today we are going to cover what is work and we shall do some problems on work. Who is doing more work here according to the picture? See in a picture A, a man is pushing to a wall. And the wall is not moving and here a person is pushing an object it is moved a distance basically according to the our terms this man is doing a lot of work by pushing right yes but in physics it is quite different look here work Work is defined as the product of net force acting on a body and the distance moved in the direction of the force. Means when we can say the work, when we push an object, if an object is moved, changes its place, if it changes from one point to another point, then only we can say it is a work. See here, I am teaching. Commonly we say that teacher is doing the work, but according to the physics, that is not work. Standing and doing something is not a work according to the physics. According to the physics, if a person, it should change its position, then we can say that it is a work. In the work, we have two components. Yes, here, what is work? Force and also a parallel distance is here force and the distance if we don't if we, there is no distance or there is no displacement of an object we cannot say it has done work so for example i am pushing an object your mother at home she asked you to change this chair position from one place to another place and you are trying to push it push it push it but you are not doing that work you are unable to do it and you sat at a place your mom will ask you why you have not done the work done the work work means if a chair is changed the place then your mom will say ah you did a good work you changed the place but your chair is not moving it means it is not done he is not done the work so the si unit of the work is joules one joule is equals to one newton meter why here newton meter newton means force meter means distance and the unit is we can also take as one kg meter square per second square actually one newton means one kg meter per second square one extra meter is there that's why meter square if you see here who is doing the work here this diagram b is doing the work because this object has changed from one place to another but this object is not changing so this we can say that this has done the this man has done the work when he applied a force it changes it one position to another position then we can say that the work has done right next okay now look here only the component of the applied force f means here in this diagram we have three lines this is one component of and this is another component and this is another component we have three components here to do a work how many components are responsible look here only the component of the applied force which is applied force this one in the direction of the motion of the law mover that is f horizontal means this one these two are the responsible to move an object when you apply a force means this component is not responsible it means in this diagram according to this components only two components are responsible to do the work so here work right next Let's see here. See a picture here. 
A man is lifting a weight, an object. He is applying a force upwards. Of having this object is having some weight which is towards downwards. What is the formula for the weight? Mass times gravity in previous classes. We did some problems over it. Right. Let's see a small example here. How much work is done? How much work he has done to lift an object in lifting a 10 kg box of 1.5 meter of the floor. From the floor, he lifted a 10 kg mass object and how, how, how much height he has lifted 1.5 meters of the floor see as we know we have the formula force equals to mass times acceleration and that is nothing but w equals to mg a force towards dawn see here w is how much 10 kg and that is not and g small g value is 9.8 mass is 10 kg g is 9.8 how much you will get see here 10 times 9.8 can be written as 98 by 10 10 10 cancel so how much you will get 98 newtons right and what is work force times displacement we got the force how much 98 newtons or we can also say 100 newtons why we got 100 newtons he has taken instead of 9.8 we can also take 10 right so if you do this work is nothing but force times distance 100 1.5 can be written as 15 over 10 0 0 so we will get 150 right so what is that how much work he has done 150 newton meter or we can also say 150 kg meter square per second square these are the units or you can say 150 joules 150 joules right okay fine Next, one more example we have. See here, a person is moving by holding an object in his hand. Right? How much work is done while walking 5 meters? Means we have D equals to 5 meters. Holding an object with mass of 3 kg. He has given mass of 3 kg but what is asking work what is the work formula force times displacement okay we got we have a displacement fine no problem f we don't have f here but as we know that f is equals to m a from this m is how much m is means mass 3 times a a means acceleration acceleration he is lifting means gravity it changes into small g means if you take the small g value as 10 meter per second square acceleration due to gravity means 30 newtons right now see here now you can substitute what is the force we got how much force 30 newtons times how much distance we have 5 meters so 150 newton meters this is the work done by this person by lifting an object and he is moving see if a person is lifted an object and is standing and he is not moving he is at rest means that is not a work a person holding an object lifting an object and he is moving it means it is he, has, he is doing some work simply lift, lifting an uh, object and standing it is not an work lifting and moving see here lifting and his direction of motion there should be a motion if there is no motion there will be no work done right if there if you applied even force and there is no motion we can say that there is no work fine clear right next 
let's have something here we have a rows and columns here in the first force distance work done so here basically what is the formula for the work work is equals to force times distance or we can rewrite this as force equals to work divided by distance or we can also rewrite as distance is equals to work by force this we need now these forms we are going to use here a single formula we can use in different forms now he has given force 150 newtons he has given force 150 newtons he has given the distance 25 newtons and he is asking work done means we need to use this formula so 25 times 50 right calculate this how much you will get Three seven five zero, right? And next, again we have we have to use this formula here. And next he has given force. Next he has given the distance. We need to the work. Same formula we need to use, right? Next, next in this C, if you look here, he has not given the he is not given the force, but he has given the distance and the work just multiply here what we need to do 52 times 6500 right if you calculate this that will be the answer in the same way here also 72.7 times 10 power 3 times 2 here multiply right and this here we need to multiply 320 times 6.5 10 power 3 right next if you look over here e he has given the force and he has given the work we need to find what this what is this distance distance is nothing but d equals to w by f which is equals to work is how much 542 divided by 2 if you divide that you will get the calculation you will get the answer in the same way in another scenario you have f he has from three components he has given force he has given work we need to find distance means again we need to find the d equals to w by f right what is d 90 sorry d is how much we need to find so work is how much 1.45 times 10 power 6 divided by the force force is how much 90 if you calculate this you will get the distance right almost everything clear right what is the formula that we are today we are discussed the work formula what is work formula force times displacement and what is the unit for the work we can take as joule or we can take as newton meter or we can take as kg meter square per second square these are the units for the joule uh, work right as we know the what is the unit for the force what is the unit for the force that is newtons what is the unit for the distance meters and we can write newton meters right these are the things that okay thank you